Today we're at Synopsis Armenia for the AGVU Armenian Virtual College graduation ceremony where students are showcasing their AI projects after completing the Step.AI program. Alongside this, a landmark agreement is being signed to expand AI education in Armenian schools to inspire a new generation of tech-savvy students. We began implementing programs in high schools across Armenia in 2015. We started with 10 schools, focusing on three core components, microelectronics, welding basics and information technology. Graduates entering the workforce should possess the knowledge, skills and abilities that meet the demands of the economy, enabling them to fill crucial roles for economic development. In 2022, the AGBU Armenian Virtual College, AVC, launched the Step.AI program, which aims to empower high school students from Armenia and Artsakh with foundational skills in artificial intelligence. We wanted to start this at the high school level, so this program goes from 10th, 11th, 12th grades, so three-year program that prepares the high school students to think uh, in this manner and be able to do certain projects, as you see. This initiative aligns with Armenia's growing focus on STEM education, aimed at preparing the next generation for careers in the emerging tech landscape. We start by teaching students the Python programming language, which will allow them to later apply artificial intelligence tools in practice. My project is about face detection. Its main priority is about detecting faces in videos or pictures, and it's a co computer vision test. Uh, I use a hard cascade algorithm, which is a machine learning algorithm. It is already pre-trained, and I use it in my code to write it and uh, get the, in the output that I desired, which is face detection. Diana is one of the graduates of the pilot program. She shared that at first, the subject matter was challenging. However, as the course progressed, she gained confidence in her abilities and became motivated to learn more. Her project focused on face detection, but her long-term goal is to develop it further into a face recognition system. She envisions this technology being used in healthcare to identify potential health risks or genetic anomalies, and in marketing, where platforms such as Netflix or Amazon could utilize face detection to analyze customers' facial expressions and recommend products that align with their preferences. She's so enthusiastic that we even got her a computer to continue her work with more focus and passion. Up until recently, Diana was not sure what course of study to pursue at university. But after completing the Step.AI program, she decided that she wanted to further her studies to become a programmer. It's definitely, um, it will have major impact on my future because it has also helped me in my decision in my career. I'm very grateful for programs like these, which give kids such stimulating and valuable opportunities, not only to learn, but also to help them find professional direction. So, so we're using e-learning, educational technologies, to be able to reach uh, different regions and expand uh, in terms of quantity. Our current plan is to train teachers from several schools on the content of the course, so they can then pass that knowledge on to their students. For many, this course is an opportunity not just to learn about AI, but to imagine a future where they can contribute to Armenia's tech industry. I plan to pursue a degree in computer science at the American University of Armenia to become a programmer. Hovanes' project is about image classification, which involves categorizing images into specific classes or types. This technology has wide applications in fields like medicine, mobile phones, and social media. In medicine, for instance, it helps classify patients based on their medical images, like identifying the severity of conditions in X-rays or MRI scans. Hovanes demonstrated how his AI model works by giving it an image, which it then analyzes to identify and categorize. He provided a live demonstration to showcase its capabilities. For example, here's an image of a fox, and the AI has correctly identified it as CLES 34, which stands for fox. I'm showing this in real time so that people can see it work. Hovanes believes that AI has the potential to improve people's lives by saving time and reducing the effort required for various tasks. Meanwhile, Lilit Aslanyan's project explores the use of AI in gaming and robotics, 
where reinforcement learning helps systems adapt and improve autonomously. Winning first place in the program's competition was an honor. Lilith's project is an AI program designed to learn how to play a game, where the goal is to keep the object in balance for as long as possible. This is achieved through reinforcement learning, a branch of AI in which the model learns by trial and error rather than following pre-programmed steps. Through this method, the AI learns to navigate its environment independently, developing its own algorithms to accomplish the objective. I was particularly fascinated by the model's learning process, seeing how it figures out what to do on its own. During the graduation event, a significant memorandum of understanding was signed to introduce the Step.AI Science and Technology Educational Program to general high schools and vocational schools across Armenia. This agreement, signed by Armenia's Minister of Education, Science, Culture and Sports, Jana Andreasian, Synopsis Armenian Director, Hovik Musaelian, AGBU Armenian Virtual College Founder President, Dr. Yervan Zorian, and Executive Director of the Union of Employers of Information and Communication Technologies, Eduard Musaelian, marks a pivotal step toward advancing STEM education for Armenian students. Armenian Minister of Education, Science, Culture and Sports, Jana Andreasian, highlighted the importance of programs like Step.ai, which are initiated and developed by private companies. Instead of creating an educational program and later consulting various employers to see if it aligns with their needs, we involve them from the very start. AI in general is very interesting, and the deeper you go into it, the more interesting it becomes.